I am on my way to JB Roy State Government Ayurvedic Hospital in Calcutta, and this is located in uh, Furia Pukur. Uh, in uh, around Shambhajar area, North Calcutta. So I get a lot of questions asking about uh, where it's located, the visiting hours, the procedures. So I can understand that it can be a little intimidating, in fact very intimidating and confusing because the information is not available on the website and unless you have been coming here or you know someone who's coming here, um, it's quite difficult to obtain that information and even if you come here let's say I come and consult a particular department I may not know about other departments but more or less I have an idea of the system how it works how you can get a consult um, and since it's not a private hospital private chamber system is far more uh, I guess has a lot more steps and far more time consuming so um, I'm on my way for my bi monthly or my, like by monthly checkup as well as a, um, you know for refilling my medicine so I thought I'll share uh, my day today because it really takes that long um, or at least uh, first half of the day goes in this so I wanted to share that with you and let's see how long the queue is I have already entered the hospital and this is where you have to walk that's the canteen over there in that direction and that canteen bhaiya has become a friend actually because I've been admitted twice so sometimes supplies food and arranges things and has even uh, given me 2 rupees cash because I didn't have it so yeah the 2 rupees cash is required for you to register when you come for the first time um, and in fact every 8 visits or every 1 month not sure but yeah so this is the queue for the ticket if you're coming for the first time, this office will tell you which department you should consult based on your ailments. And this is the queue and it's not even 10.30. This is the queue for people who have already consulted the doctor and now they're standing in the queue to collect the medicines. And I have, uh, the hack is to get someone to stand in the queue for you while you are standing in the medicine uh, or the ticket line. So I'm still in the ticket line. And I got my uh, chauffeur when he's available, like the one, the man in the yellow shirt, he's standing for me. So when I finish, I can take his spot instead of starting right from the end, which would have been, uh, the line would have gotten longer by the time I would have finished consulting the doctor. So now back to my registration line. So the registration took 35 minutes and now I am in the waiting area. That's the doctor's chamber and I'm going to go and chit chat with my co-patients while waiting for my turn. <laughs> So I finished consulting the doctor and uh, I sat in the waiting room around 10 to 11 and I got done by 11.15 so 25 minutes. Process is done. Now I have to stand in the medicine dispersing queue which is very long and takes forever. So my shopper is standing apparently got into a fight or something like people started fighting. They always do but apparently this time it escalated and became a physical fight. So he was like, I'm done with this, I'm not standing in this queue. But uh, he is still standing, so um, I'll go and take his spot. So, down the stairs and these are the other departments. So, I don't know much about those departments as in which days the doctors are in the chamber. Like today, Panchakurma, the doctor I visit, he's on Tuesdays. Uh, Thursdays and Saturdays and on other days Monday, Wednesday and Friday there's another lady uh, and the doctor's team who sits in the uh, same uh, department so you will have a you have uh, the option of visiting any day but just that the doctor once you consult a certain doctor and you want to keep uh, the same doctor then you have to come on those same days and normally people do that they consult the same doctor so they come on those fixed days so this, these are the two queues 
and my driver has only reached here after uh, an hour of standing and he was lighting just barely here so yeah that's how slow the line is taken my shopper spot which he had kept for me and now i am uh, standing in this queue at i started at 11:26 i'll uh, show you by what time i get the medicine so that you get an idea of how long you would have to take out of your uh, you would have to set aside for coming to this place and getting the medicine you also have the option of buying it um, outside so i some i i did that actually for the first time uh, last week so but uh, i prefer the ones here obviously because well it's by the government and it's free so normally people sit here if they want to take a break from standing in the queue which is what i'm doing i've told the people before and after me in the queue that hey i'm going to go sit there because otherwise they will create Uh, problems if you come back later saying you went away blah 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 so all those things happen so you have to let people know behind and uh, in front of you that hey i'm going to be back in some time because people can get quite annoyed if you go and finish errands they're like why are we waiting when you go and finish errands and come back and all that so i am sitting here and people usually like bring their snacks eat and all that stuff so and then you end up chatting with people in front of you behind you that's how you pass time here or you could be on your phone playing games so it's 12:15 i got done i had to wait in that queue for 45 minutes so longer actually so since um, my driver joined that i think quarter to 11 or even earlier so that's how long it took but it's unusually early and quick because today the crowd was less we prepared to spend more time because uh, usually it takes like for me to get done sometimes 1 o'clock 2 o'clock even there are times when i got done at 3 when i came at 10 so today i got lucky because the crowd is less that's where i have to go to buy the ointment which is not available here and uh, some medicines sometimes are not available so you have to buy it here if you don't have it at home so these are all the medicines i got from the hospital and they come in these pouches meant for lasting for 2 weeks so my idea is that you have to come again after 2 weeks and get a refill and also consult your doctor and this time i got a new medicine which is given me and this i had to buy from outside so that was the visit